One is around a lot of the interventions around the whole area of what might be public policy, principles and rights where we don't seem to have structures at the moment. There are many suggestions, treaties, um, a bill of rights, um, statements of principles, self-regulatory regimes, all of these needs to be discussed and perhaps that area is the future of this particular forum. I think that needs to be interestingly looked at as we go forward as you know, the public policies issues as they arise from the nature of the internet. The only other comment I would make is on the nature of the open mobile as we go forward. Is my mobile in 2028 20, going to be one where I can choose my search engine provider or is it going to be one where my provider tells me what I can see? Have I got the openness and the access that I have now? Do I have the interoperability across platforms I have now? These are the critical issues for me in that space. And I do look forward to seeing you all in Retrovic in <laughs> 2028. Virtually. And um, looking forward to the report of the working group on defining enhanced cooperation. Thank you. Thank you. Herbert. Yeah, thank you very much. No, I think it, it is important, and the discussion this morning here shows us again to really uh, be open and aware of all the multiple issues here. I haven't sensed a single individual in this whole forum who didn't show appreciation for raising awareness for issues. Um, but I also would like to remind all of us that we wouldn't be where we are with this, do we have the next billion or not yet, but this already enormous amount of citizens of this planet having access and having the capability without uh, businesses, small ones, medium ones, large and super large ones, for decades investing this and there's no reason not to try that they will continue to do this and therefore drive these kind of developments with all our collective help in the right kind of direction. Uh, thank you. I agree with all that's been said already. Um, uh, just a couple of thoughts of my own, uh, particularly around uh, the, the very vibrant discussion around the idea of treaties and agreements and so on. Um, in my opening remarks, I talked a little bit about how the IGF should think about how it can move itself and its influence into other fora. And I'm actually more interested in how one strengthens the existing agreements and treaties that we have now, rather than going down the road of creating yet another treaty. Um, many of you may not be aware that we have over 70 multilateral environmental agreements alone. And the challenge, of course, is not having another treaty. The, the challenge is making the treaties that we have now work. So uh, that's one of the things that I would put in the table, especially around the area of rights and responsibility, so on. Um, and the last comment that I would make is just encouraging the IGF as a model in itself rather than being a, a sort of a formal structured treaty oriented forum, a firm that's trying to find a new way of networked governance, soft governance, to come to agreement outside of some of the, the traditional silos that we tend to get into when we talk about treaty processes. Heather, thank you very much.